Hey there YouTube fans, AC Productions here. In this video, I'm going to have some timestamp chapters to help you navigate through the video. This will help you get to a specific part of the video that you're looking to do more than the others. So just click on here where it says show more, then look for the title that you're looking to get done. Click on the time and it'll take you directly to that on the video. This is just a sample on how to get to that section on this current video. So I'm going to be showing you on how to properly connect your Blue Ghost controller with a uh, voltage regulator and uh, LED strips and also on how to program your kit. All right, so as you can see right here, I have the multicolor strips right here. Uh, also, I got the voltage regulator right here, blue coast controller uh, with two outputs, and then I got uh, two of these Y splitter from one with two. All right, so let me go ahead and I'll uh, plug everything in so I can show you. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and we are going to um, connect the blue coast controller with the voltage regulator. Now it's going to be with the plug right here and then from the voltage regulator right here, just go ahead and put the connector in until you hear the click. I wasn't able to hear the click, but you'll feel it once you put it in there. It's really hard and tight because of the uh, waterproof sealant that it has. After that, we're going to go ahead and we are going to connect our Y splitter connector to our LED strips. I already connected one, which is off to here to the side, which is abundance of wires there. Pretty self, uh, you know, connecting. It only goes in one way. So go ahead, connect one and then go ahead and connect your other LED. All right. So they're both in like so. Okay. I'm going to try to do my best to have these as straight as possible so you guys can see the LEDs once we turn them on. All right. So from here, you want to connect this to your blue ghost controller at this point it doesn't really matter on which one you connect to but go ahead and connect this one right here and then same thing with the other one once you connect your other two so once those are connected you can put that off to the side for now i'm going to go ahead and try to straighten out these led strips as much as i can so that way you guys could see the animation of the lights okay once you get your leds straight and like i said it's just for demonstration purposes for me to actually on the table i'm just going to kind of this is just going to be to show you on how to program and everything there's going to be a, se a separate video on how to install these particular type of strips onto the bike which it's going to be a lot more than just four strips what I have here. All right, so uh, besides that, now we're gonna go ahead and power up our voltage regulator. You're gonna notice there's gonna be one cable with a fuse on it, and then the other cable is gonna be with nothing on it. It's gonna be just a straight cable. The one that has the fuse is gonna be the positive. The one that has nothing on it is going to be the negative. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm gonna plug it into a portable battery pack that I have over here. It's a 12 volt battery pack. It'd be a good idea to actually do this off of the bike because this way you're able to see what I'll be showing you you in a mo more clearer way because once you install these onto the bike and try to do this setup when it's on the bike it's gonna be more difficult because you can't really see the LEDs when programming you want to go ahead and download the blue ghost app so go to your Apple Store or Google Play and download the app it's free it doesn't cost anything okay so now that we got the app downloaded we're gonna go ahead and select it so we're gonna go ahead and select the app and right now we are going to once you plug it in you're gonna notice that it's gonna be searching for the blue ghost and as soon as it finds it'll pop up here okay once I do it now you can see that the blue ghost has been found so go ahead select that once you get to this part of the menu uh, don't worry about entering a pin because there is none unless you set one up for yours then that'll be the pin that you're gonna use but for me I don't have one so I'm gonna go ahead and skip so you can do the same select skip now it's going to ask you for a pairing request say yes for pairing so go ahead and pair all right so now you are fully paired we're going to go ahead and select the new show once you select new show as you can see that the lights are in all these crazy colors now don't freak out that your lights are just showing all these different colors because actually it needs to be programmed okay so i try to dim the lighting on the second camera so you guys could see it it's still not capturing as perfectly as you see it in real life uh that's okay so right now you're gonna see them as the strips are coming down you can't see my finger too well but you can see that they're stopping right there when the length the rest of the length is even further down so like i said don't freak out that you're seeing all these different colors we're going to go ahead and we are going to adjust it so let's go ahead and now that we had selected you can see it's highlighted in purple and the camera shows blue so to fix this we're going to go once we have selected it's already highlighted it's going to be the little gear so once you see that little gear where it says led type which is right over here it says led type we're going to go ahead and we're going to change that and we are going to select grbw okay now as you can see in the camera that now all the colors are kind of uniform over here on the app you're going to see this little memory card with the green circle that just means it's it's currently saving the settings that you had just uh, programmed onto the app now you don't have to wait until that whole green circle goes away you could actually start working 
working on it right now. So we're gonna go to the house and then we're gonna go ahead and select the little gear icon right here. I'm gonna select that. Right now it's on the option of called parade. So we're gonna, let's see, that's, that's the first one. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and select solid and we're gonna delete, delete, making sure that what we select is gonna be showing over here on the LED strips. So right now, showing red, I'm gonna go ahead and select blue. If you see blue in your LEDs, you're doing good. Select the green, if you see green on your LEDs, you're doing good, and then yellow, and then back to red. Okay, so now that we selected all the colors, we know that we're at the right mode. Okay, so next we're gonna do is we are going to go back to, we're gonna go back to the the menu here, which is our all of the shows, or pretty much is what they call it, and we're gonna go back to something where we could actually see the patterns. So now we're gonna select waves, I think it's a pretty good one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select the, some pre-color. So right now it's on red, as you can see. To add a color, just press plus. It goes to the next one, so it'll be green. You could change these colors, so that'll be at, at a later part of the video. Right now we're just trying to um, increase the the pixels or whatnot or, or uh, to make the, the LEDs flow further down. Uh, next we're gonna select blue. That's pretty much the next one. And let's see what we could select another one. Maybe let's go with, uh, change it to a pink and maybe we could get a yellow in there. All right, so that's good enough for now. So go ahead and press the bottom, which is gonna be the house. The LEDs are gonna turn off, that's okay. To turn them back on, just press the top part, put your finger on it, and like I said, that's probably gonna light up purple to let you know that it's selected. Now you see it glowing on the LEDs. Now we're gonna go over to the little blocks. Now this is gonna get us to the setup part of the LEDs. We're actually going to change that and we're going to select Halo, even though we are installing LED strips. We want to maximize on all the options we get with the app. So we're going to go ahead and select left halo, select right. We're going to change from strip to halo. So go ahead and select halo on that one. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to see where it says over here size. Right about there, there's a plus and minus. Now that's going to show right now that's on 30 LED dots. So what you want to do is you want to press plus. So for every time you press plus, you're going to notice that it's going to go down one LED, as you can see on the camera. As you see, as I'm pressing it, the two that we have, because e each of these uh, strips are connected to one. So two of these strips are connected to one, and these two are connected to one so as you see as i'm pressing the size you can see these leds are getting further and further down because we are increasing to each individual led you want to keep pressing it until you reach the end of the led strip so now we're going to go ahead and select right and then we're going to keep on pressing plus until we reach the bottom of the led uh, strip now it's it's going to go ahead and on the app you're going to see the little green circle it's pretty much saving what you just done to the leds okay so now that you can see that the little memory car with the green circle is already gone the settings have been saved but move on up a little bit so you guys see that bottom part all right so you can see it's been saved for the left and it's been saved for the right like i said you don't really have to wait for that to, to like finish downloading you know you could still do your settings while you're it's still doing it because as you're you know messing around with the, the app it's going to constantly do that little green circle all right so now that we're done with that now you're going to see these little icons here at the bottom now what each of these mean is that this is for the left turn signal right turn signal it's gonna be like the, the daytime running lamps a one and two, we're only gonna need one. Uh, this one over here is, and then this one is the party thing, is actually the channel. So we have channel one and channel two, which is left and right. So if we have select, we're on the left and we select the little party thing, it turns off the lights. Then when you select it, it turns them on. Same thing when we go to the right, when you select it, it turns off those lights. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have select left. After selecting left, we're gonna unselect the right arrow. You only wanna select the left arrow. Next, we're gonna go over to right and we're gonna unselect the left arrow and only have the right arrow selected. Everything else stays the same. Now, the reason that we're doing this is that because now we're gonna go into the turn signal functionality and we want to only make sure that when we select the left turn signal that only the left light turns on and not both. Same thing with the right. When we select the right turn signal, we only want the right turn signal to turn on, not the left. I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and show you on how to modify uh, some of the options that you have here on the glow kit. All right, so now to modify some of the options here, I'm gonna go ahead, as you can see, it's on right now. I'm gonna go ahead and select the little gear. So go ahead and press the little gear icon. All right, so now we are on the waves mode and that's what the, it was, it's called by, you know, the factory called waves. You could see up here, it says name, new show. You Over here, when you select it, you could actually change the name. Right now, I'm just give you a rundown of what everything is down here. If you look 
look really close it's gonna show like an arm showing like a like it's doing a muscle so the first one's the strength of the led this next one's the speed after that you got the dimmer which is the master dimmer and then you got a dimmer down here now this dimmer down here will control each individual color that you have so right now we have the red selected so if i move it up i can make the red more stronger in turn you'll see it over here on the led strip when the red comes down that the red is going to be a lot more brighter or i can make the red a lot less in brightness and make it more dimmer so this is the individual dimmer now let's go up to these other settings now the you got the strong so let's if we move it towards the left anytime you do any type of changes here you're changing what the leds are doing on the strip so you can see i'm making it less strong it's actually slowing it down if we go with the little guy that's running fast we could even make it even slower and go in that direction or we can make it uh, go on the top change up the speed a little bit again each of these um options does something different pattern the next we're going to select the little blocks that look like they're exploding when we select it, look at the strips, look what happens when we select it. Now it completely does a different thing. How cool is that? So now, you know, on each a different pattern, when you select the little block, it does, it changes everything. And now we have a whole different selection of what we could do with the system. All right, so let's go to a different, uh, different one here. This one's Cyclone. Let's go ahead and select the little block. And now you can see it's doing something really cool, something really different. Uh, let's see we got so again, this is going to be just something where you guys could, you know, uh, use and just mess around on your, on your time. I'm doing but I just wanted to kind of show you that and give you that a little update on, on how to optimize on that little mode right there alrighty guys on this section I want to show you on how to actually customize a mode alright so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select our mode right now it's gonna turn on the LEDs as you can see now we're gonna go ahead and select the little gear option right now it's set to waves now I'm gonna show you a particular one that's really popular police colors red and blue so I'm gonna show you on how to customize and really set the mode to very specifically and how to get that pattern so we're gonna go ahead and select waves we're gonna go from waves to strobe now, as you can see over here the lights are kind of all over the place even if you select the little squares it's not the what we're looking for so we're we'll unselect the squares what we want to do is we want to kind of fine tune that left and right or the you know on each uh, section so we're going to go ahead and we're going to select the little uh, strong guy probably go over here actually we're going to slow it down so we're going to go ahead and slow it down just a little bit and as as you can see when you're doing these uh changing these patterns or the the modes over here it actually does something different over there it's still not quite right it's kind of still a little bit off so what we're going to do is we're going to keep on moving this until we actually get solid lines and as you can see the more we go on the right with the strong arm which is the strength of the lights now you could see it's kind of coming up together a little bit i think about right there and uh according to the percentage of the strongness uh, we're at uh, 67 percent i think we could go just a little bit more i would say probably right about there now we got that whole left and right thing going on okay so i'm gonna go ahead and slow it down just a little bit more probably right about there all right so for the strength we're looking at 69 percent and for the speed we're looking at 11 percent okay so now to get the police colors as you can see we have all these different colors because that's what it's cycling through and that's what it was from the factory we really just want red and blue so as you notice and each color is a little garbage can there you can see a little circle there that's actually a little garbage can what that means is you when you select it you pretty much throw away that color so as you can see i select it now that that color disappears we're with the red and the green so we're going to go ahead and it, the green is highlighted now we're going to go to the color wheel here at the bottom we're going to change that to blue so now you can see on the camera it's cycling through red and blue that's more of the police colors all right so now that we got pretty much what we're looking for now that we kind of customized this uh, particular pattern we, we could actually go ahead and change the name so if you go over here where it says name and it says new show just go ahead and tap up there now you're going to have your little keypad down here just go ahead and delete that it says new show and then you can call whatever you want i'm going to go ahead and call this police mode so once you're done go ahead and press done now you have the name up here it says police mode when you press the little house down here there you go now you could see it's saved up here so you could save up however many patterns you want so it was over here so now we got the first one called police mode you want to start up a new pattern just go ahead and press plus now you're back kind of square one you know on on the modes so you could go ahead and you could you know modify this one the way i showed you you know doing whatever you want you could you know delete colors you you could only do up to six colors unfortunately you can't add any more or you could do less colors you could even do up to one color let's go ahead and do a one color mode so we're going to go ahead and delete all of these colors go ahead and delete all until you get only to one down 
two, there we go, one. So now we're on one, it's on red, but we don't want red. Maybe you want something in the middle. Just put your finger over the color wheel and kind of look at your, your lights and see a particular in-between color that you would like. Say we'll go with this one as white. Now when you go to these other modes, everything that you do, any, any other um, option you select is gonna be only in that color. So if you go to line dances, you could see everything's in white. Take off the little squares and it does something different, but it's still only in that color. Or you go meteor shower, kind of in the white with a few other ones, but it's pretty much white. All those options are just gonna be in that one color. Okay, so let's just go to a solid. So say you just want it on, on the solid color. You you know, once you, you modify the way you want it, again, go to the top where it says new show, select it, and then you could change it to whatever name you want. So we'll just hold over here, white. Press done, and you're done. Press the little house, and now you have your two options. There you got your first one we did was police mode. The second one is white. So say that, you know, you, you want to kind of add that basic functions and everything, just press plus again, and now you have, um, you know, all the basic, all the same colors are all there again, like the factory. Type the top, and then you could actually type in, we'll call this one factory three settings and then press done press the little house now you have your your three modes over there now the cool thing about having all the three modes there is that you could actually have the system play all three of those modes which is an amazing thing so if you were to go and you see this like little paper or this like little like a little paper thing square right there you could select it so you could say well I want that one to go first then maybe the factory one to go second and that white mode to go third now to play all of those you just go as you can see came something came up here at the bottom where it says composite show just press play and now on the system it's going to play in order what you just selected and then you could actually change and how often you want it to go through those settings so right now i have each one playing at five second intervals so the first one was police mode which is going to be playing within five, five seconds and after that it's going to go into the factory settings which is right now for five seconds and then it's going to go into the white mode for five seconds so that's a really cool combination like i said you could go through so many things here this is pretty much the last led kit you're ever going to have to buy because not only this you're also going to get lifetime updates for the life of the kit so the, if, a, if a new uh, a new option came up or a new pattern came up you're going to get a live update when it's time to do an update and you'll get those settings so therefore no need to buy any other led kit so that's pretty much it say you don't want to go through those just go ahead and turn it off and then it'll turn it off then you could go ahead and unselect it and therefore you're just back to square one and you could just you know pick them individually Okay, so you're gonna have four wires. The yellow wire is going to be the brake. The green wire is gonna be the turn signal, a blue turn signal, and red is gonna be the startup mode. Now we're gonna actually go into uh, the little car. We're gonna go into this option. Now first we're gonna go ahead and we are going to go with the yellow. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm gonna put it to the positive so you guys can see what happens. So as you can see, as I tap here with the yellow wire, the brake light turns on, and then you can see an indicator right over here when it's get beat when the lights are on. So when I hit it, you can see it's being circled. So you see it? It actually circled it, showing that the brake lights are on. Now we could go into the brake light option, and when we select, turn it off. So when we select the brake lights, we have two uh, different types of brake lights. Right now it's on basic, so when you hit the brake lights, they just turn on red. If we were to select strobe, go ahead and select strobe when you hit the brakes, as you can see they blink and then they stay on. Again, you could actually increase and change the settings. We could either do more speed, we could also increase the strength you could actually change the color of the brake light. So say you don't want red, and maybe you want a blue brake light or a white brake light. That's the cool thing about this uh, Blue Ghost technology is that we could select whatever color your heart desires on brake lights. Say that you don't want brake light mode to be on when you're riding, or so every time you, when you hit your brakes, all of your LEDs, they're all gonna turn on. And you want it to, when you hit your brakes, you just want your regular small tail light to turn on or your brake light to turn on. Just hit off, so when you hit your brakes, nothing happens. Okay, so that's pretty much a uh, brake light function explained. Okay, so next we are gonna go for is going to be your running lights. So the red wire is gonna be your your running lights or pretty much the startup mode is what I call it. So when you turn the key into accessory, as you can see right now, it's just like a basic white. Uh, so right now, that'll be the parking lights, what it's called parking lights. Over here, it's basic. Uh, let me go into Rainbow Road. So when we turn on the key to accessory, this is what happens. And then when you turn off the key from your bike, it goes into reverse mode. Now this also has a few different options. So if we select Pulsate, it looks like they just uh, gradually get brighter. And then when you turn off the key, they gradually get dimmer. You could select whatever color you want. 
We could do this other one right here. Nothing really fancy there. Oh, there we go. Okay. We could do a scan sweep. That's pretty cool. And then when you let go, uh, we are going to do the isolate. That's another pretty cool mode right there. And then when you let go, kind of just fades away. Then we got the uh, Sharon. Interesting pattern it shows. And then when you let go, I'm going to turn off the key. And the last one is a uh, stair step. And then when you turn off the key. So again, you could, uh, you know, change the, the speed and the strength on that. So this is something, again, you're going to have to, like, you know, just kind of play around with and then kind of find the setting that you would like. Or say you don't want the setting to happen when you turn on the key, you could just go ahead and select off. And therefore, nothing will happen when you uh, put the key inside. All right, so last but not least, we have turn signals. Now that's going to be your blue and green cable. So blue is going to be the turn signal, as you can see and green is going to be your turn signal as you can see right here again you could also change the colors for your turn signals and on this one you don't really have a speed you just got the strength right now it's just on basic mode you could also change it and we could also go into a wave pattern so when you put the blinkers on it does something like that let's go to the next one sequence okay and then the next one is called bounce so every time you put your turn signals, it's something like this. Next, we got bubble. And then last but not least, we have rollout. So those are the pretty much the options. Oh, we do have a speed for that. Okay, so I guess it just depends. You could also change the color of the turn signals. You don't have to have the yellow a green, a, you know, a blue or a pink or whatnot. So those are pretty much the other options. And once you select it here, obviously you got the little memory card with the green circle saving your setting. All right, guys. So I, I think uh, that kind of pretty much concludes all the settings and how to uh, work those options. If you go to the little Thunderbolt, uh, this is for other... Um, other types of things you could do with the kit until I get more information on that. I'll probably do a second video on how to adjust these. It wouldn't be in this video because I don't have this option on this um, Blue Ghost controller. Over here, you could also name it something. Press done. If you go to the, the Bluetooth, uh, that kind of just shows you, you know, the different type of Blue Ghost devices that we have uh, connected. Alrighty guys, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, smash that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you guys are up to date with my latest videos. If you know anyone else that had bought the Blue Ghost controller and is having a hard time trying to figure out how to uh, set it up, please share my video because it helps them out and it also helped me out. If you disliked the video, please smash that dislike video. Let me know in the comments below of why you disliked the video and then also before I let you guys go uh, here's a setting that we have going on this one is called line dance and if you were to use the master dimmer to dim the light all the way down to nothing you're just left with just those white lights uh, coming down with no color in between which is a pretty cool thing alright guys take care and uh, catch you on the next video